coronavirus, manufacturing, CNC machining, going through the valleys. Like, this world is changing before our eyes. Colleges are closing, big events, sports, everything being canceled. You can't even find food. Like, even canned goods at the grocery stores are being sold out. Not to mention the toilet paper and the soap, but like, it is crazy out there. It's about to get crazy. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. Uh, what's up, everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. And it is Sunday, and I'm at my shop by myself. And I thought, you know what? I got a little bit of work to get done, but I thought, you know what? People are seriously like frightened right now. People are seriously, they don't know what's going on. The news is like just boom, boom, boom. And it is a serious thing. The coronavirus is a serious thing, right? It's gonna get worse before it gets better. But in times of trial, right? In times where the world hits you in your face, one thing that I've learned through manufacturing is that you need to be cool under pressure, right? Before I started my own shop, I ran companies. I, I went through crazy valleys and crazy things. I solved problems for other people. And through each valley and through every problem, I realized that I would come out a little bit more experienced, right? So now that I have my own company, whenever things happen, I'm cool under pressure, right? Because I've seen so many different things. The coronavirus right now, it is insane. But if you watch and listen to the doctors, if you watch the news and, and read between the lines, they give you steps. Wash your hands. You know, disinfect everything. Make sure that you, you separate yourself and, and maybe not shake hands, but, but stand there politely and talk to people, you know? Take, take time to actually make sure that your family's safe and that you're safe and, and put the love out there for other people. Know that maybe you shouldn't take that extra can of food or that extra bag of toilet paper because you have plenty. Leave it for somebody else because we are all one big family, right? So there are things out there that will allow us to be safe during this time or safer during this time, right? And one thing that I want to say to you guys is we will get through it. Like we will get through it. No matter what country you're in, no matter who you are, no matter what situation you're in, we're all family and we will get through it. I've seen many things through my life. And when you look at manufacturing, we have our highs and we have our lows and people with experience who've been in it, they know that if you're cool headed, you're just gonna go through it, even if it's hard, but you will come out. You know, this time makes me think about 2008, 2009, right? which is the time period that I went through when I, when the whole economy collapsed and I had to lay out 40 employees and, and, and I didn't know what to do. And I went through crazy trials and, and like the whole world, like just was falling around me. And I saw 50,000 companies going out of business and every turn and every place I went for help, like there was no help from anyone. I lost my house. I lost my cars. I lost like everything, but through that experience, I would learn and I would look at manufacturing and the importance of manufacturing. I would, I, would, I would look at how things are and it would give me a passion for making things and not only for making things, but it would give me a passion to break through walls, to speak to real manufacturers and, and future manufacturers and, and show people process and, and discuss and advocate for this trade because I saw how bad it was, right? 
I, when, when, when everything was falling around me, like I used to go to the Forest Hill Bridge by my shop and I would like go on the bridge and I would kneel and I would like pray and I'd be like, Lord, please do not take my shop from me. Like, like, Lord, like help me like employ people. Like help me keep this thing going. Like, like I would go through so much and I literally saw everything fall. But if somebody could have just said and tapped me on the shoulder at that moment and said, Titan, you're going to lose. You're going to have machines taken. You're going to like have to leave your shop. But in just a few short years, you will rebuild yourself. You will start speaking into people's lives. You'll start changing lives. And you know what, Titan? You're going to have two babies. You're going to have twin babies. They're going to be born on 7-7. It's going to be a miraculous time for you and your family. And like your whole life is going to take off and it's going to go in a different direction. You're going to go into a prison system and you're going to build a school. What? I'm a manufacturer. Like, how would that happen? I'm not a teacher. You're going to go into San Quentin. You're going to build a school and then that school is going to go through and more prisons. And then it's going to catch fire and they're going to start building schools throughout the world. Today, we have 2,500 schools that use our resources. It could have never happened if I hadn't gone through 2008, 2009 and saw what I saw. People look at my passion and they'll say, Titan, like, oh, you're too passionate. You're this. I will never apologize for my passion because I went through the hard times. I understand what it is to, to like suffer through trying to make payroll week after week and have to have heartfelt talks with employees that you consider family. Like, like I understand what it is. And therefore, if you are in this trade without passion, you already are at a deficit. So now, I'm all about advocating. I'm all about the trade. I'm all about mentoring. I'm all about just standing firm and speaking words of encouragement and wisdom and, and basically helping people go through what I've already gone through because we are family, right? Today, we have the academy. We, we have an amazing huge shop and we're expanding and I have an amazing team. But back in 2008, 2009, I couldn't see it. I didn't have the vision. I was drowning. So because of that experience and knowing where I am now and knowing where I used to be, I will tell each and every one of you that no matter what country you're from, take pride in that flag. No matter what culture you're from, love that culture and help people around you and get serious about manufacturing because every single country in the world needs manufacturing. Not all of us are, are built for a service, right? Meaning the service industry. Not everybody's going to be a banker, doctor, or lawyer. There are people in all societies that were made to build things. And that's why we have to fight for manufacturing. Today, it's important that we are safe during this coronavirus epidemic. It's important that we lift each other up, that we encourage each other, that we treat each other like family, that we understand that this will also pass. And if we lose our job or we get sent home, we got to understand that it will pass. We will come through it. It will get better again. We will find cures. We will find the right medicines and, and, and internal things that will allow us to get through this, this time. And then we will thrive on the other side. And we will leave this in the past. But what did we learn we learned that manufacturing is important, that we need to manufacture things in our own countries, right? So when you have an epidemic, when you have things, you have supplies close by. If you're in Australia, you need to manufacture your own parts. If you're in China, if you're in Brazil, if you're in the UK, if you're in America, you need to manufacture 
a great majority of your own parts because that's just the way it is and that is that is how important it is if there is anything i won't say that there's bright things happening but i will say that the media never talks about manufacturing the media never talks about things because they need the drama to get the views but today they're talking about manufacturing Today, they're wondering why we don't have certain medicines. They're wondering why we don't have certain things. And we're, they're speaking about the importance of actually making things and having things here in case there is a natural disaster, in case something happens in the world. We need to be close by. So there is a renewed focus on manufacturing. And that's good. So my prayers go out to all the families out there, anybody who is scared who's who's struggling who might be sick like my team and i like we're we're here with you and our prayers go out to you and and uh i'm gonna do my best just to bring forth that leadership and that calmness to anybody who like follows us if you if you have questions if you have concerns if you want to talk write down in the comments go ahead and put your comments down i read every single one and i will respond look at our facebook group the private group, Titans of CNC Academy, the Facebook group. That is a, a community of over 30-something thousand makers that come together to help each other, to lift each other up, to teach each other. Check it out. If you are home and you don't have nothing to do and you're wondering what to do, the CNC Academy, it's free. I'm not trying to make money off you guys. It is free. For years and years and years, people said, oh, he's like, wait, I have never asked anything of anybody. Ask all the teachers. We've got 2,500 schools that use our resources. I've never asked anything. We give resources because nobody else has done it. And that is the lifelong passion and vision. That's my path in life. And I've found it to serve my community. And that's how I get joy. And that's how I get fulfillment. Because we're serving our family, our manufacturing family. So we have this academy, academy.titansofcnc.com. You can go up into resources and you can read the instructions. But if you have time, put the time in to, to hone your skills. Put the work in to learn five axis, three plus two, multi-axis surfacing. Learn how to program, even though everybody might say that you're wasting your time. Learn and, and go through all the tutorials and put the time in. If you have time right now or even after, put the work in to up your skills so when we get past this and as we keep manufacturing, you can take better care of your family because knowledge is power. And the more knowledge that you have, the more money that you make, which allows you to actually put food on the table. So again, coronavirus Anybody dealing with things, cool under pressure. Do what you gotta do. Our prayers are with you. We love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys, all right? You got any comments, put it down below, all right? I will talk to you guys later. Uh, keep watching, we're gonna put more videos, more mentoring videos, more machining videos, just all of it, all right? Take care, I love you, boom.